start the day with a cleansing, you know, on country. I think uh, if we could do that every day, we'd be in better spirits, I reckon. But um, yeah, my name is Johnny Murray, and I'm a uh, descendant of the traditional owner group of Wodonga, the Dutteral people. Um, my mum's here in the crowd of elder. Um, so it's an honour to be here with you guys today and represent my family as I welcome you here for this uh, fantastic occasion. Um, and, you know, the cleansing has many purposes but today that's this cleansing is about getting rid of the old and bringing in the new which is i think what today's about so moving forward we can move forward together with uh, fresh and new intentions um for the betterment of our people and for our community so thanks for being part of that cleansing um part of a cleansing you know is about bringing positive energy as well and that positive energy only lasts as long as you're being positive so you know watch the way you speak to people and about others and, um, and how you look at yourself as well. So if you can do that, then um, you'll, be, you'll be right for a while there. Um, so in the language of the Dura people, I say Wudra Yalagan Dura Miri, which means hello and welcome to Dura country. Um, 
we're in a pretty lucky place here um, on Dunura Country. You know, we're surrounded by the mountains and, and the rivers and things like that. So, um, you know, if you take away all the, the buildings and things like that, and if we look at the natural landscape, this would be an ideal place for families and community to live because of the abundance of food and shelter and resources readily available here. So um, walk strong when you're on this country. Um, you know, we always say part of the welcome is um, letting people know that when they are here, that we just ask that you care for the country like it's your mother and care for everything that's on country like it's your brother or your sister. And if you can do that whilst you're here, then you're most welcome to be here and that um, you look after each other and you look after yourself most importantly. So thank you, welcome to Dura Country. Um, I hope you have a good ceremony today. And to uh, finish off the, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some uh, dancing for you now. So um, I'm part of a group known as Dinner White's Connection. And um, this morning we're gonna do some traditional Aboriginal dance for you. So we're pretty lucky we get to travel and we're actually pretty lucky that we we still have all this knowledge and that this knowledge was shared with us because as we know you know culture was denied to our old people um, for many years and now we're we're letting people know that we're still here we're still strong despite the best efforts to eradicate us and get rid of our culture we're here still sharing it keeping it strong ensuring that it's going to be around for another 60,000 years you know so i just need that for my so I'll just introduce them here. We've got Michael Vincent. He's one of our brothers. Uh, these are my two boys, Keone and Kingston. Leave them there. Oi. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Um, so, yeah, thanks for the opportunity. We're doing one connection. We're going to do a few songs now. This first one we're going to do is our entrance dance. And this is our emu entrance dance. And the story of this is about the, the father or the male emu showing their baby emus their country, um, showing them their Nurempa because showing them their country, it's their identity. That's where they get their identity from and that's who they are. So this song sings up the words to that. So we'll bring them in here now. <laughs> So we're pretty lucky that we get these dancers shared with us and the dancers from um, all over Australia. Um, so it's good that you'll be able to see and hear a few different languages sung today. This next one is our is a Rajri cleansing dance and this one's all about calling on all the old people to be here present with us today so that we can cleanse country and that we can all be healthy um, here on country together. So this one is Rajri cleansing. Next one we're going to do is uh, Rajri Welcome. We're going to rattle off a couple of welcome dances for you here. So after that, you should feel very welcome. So we'll just go one line. 
All good? Ready, King? <laughs> That's all right, mate. You might see something here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, his eyes are up here. All right, ready? <laughs> mosquito dance but um, we haven't uh, got permission to do that one just yet but um, next one we're going to do is Darrett welcome and this welcome was shared to us by Michael Stu McMillan, men of the Darrett nation and this is another welcome dance which pretty much says why here on country you know listen and obey the rules and if not um, there's consequences so this one here Darrett welcome dance and it's a central coast dance that was shared with us and this one paid respect to that old mackerel fish but it tells a story of how the mackerel make their home down in the sand in the bottom of the ocean and they get up and they swim around and so we're going to do this dance pay respect to that old fish Garo Egwa, Macro Maraling 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 Garo Egwa,
So now we're going to get a few of you to come up and... Nah. <laughs> we usually do that one, though, as a uh, participation, but maybe not today. Um, next one we're going to do, it's a song in the Nyanfa language, and it's a hunting song. And the song talks about men going towards the animal tracks, and then men going towards the animal tracks hunting for meat, which it is. So, two emus. No, two emus, then Uncle Vince can hunt. Who can I get? No, that's all right. Ready? Men up and I'm a more than morning and go. Now then I'm more than morning and go. Men up and I'm a more than morning and go. Now then I'm more than morning and go. Men up and I'm a more than morning and go. Now then I'm more than morning and go. Men up and I'm a more than morning and go. Now then I'm more than morning and go. If you die of a night in a low road, you die of a night in a car, you die of a night in a low road, you die of a night in a car. But now the name of the morning and go, now the name of the morning and go, and now the name of the morning and go, now the name of the morning and go, and now the name of the morning and go, now the name of the morning and go, and now the name of the morning and go, now the name of the morning and go, now the name of the morning and go, and now the name of the morning and go, and now the name of the morning and go, and now Um, do you want to have a go, rowboat? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. We'll, we'll try this one. We haven't practiced it, but I know it. So this one is a rowboat song. This one shared to us by Uncle well, Pop Nanya from Western Australia. This is a Western Australian dance. And, um, and it's about how the men go out in the boat collecting fish. So you'll see they go out three times. The first time they go out is for all the old people. They come back and they share the food out for all the old people. And the second time they go out, they come back and they share it for the women and the children. And then the third time they go out is for themselves. So we'll give it a go anyway. Ready? <laughs> It's an empire creation story, and this one relates to four animals. So the Guga, Goanna, Dinawan, Emu, Bunda, Kangaroo, and Dikavilla, the Echidna. And these are the four animals that went out across country and passed out all the law of the land and how to care for country and how people should interact. And then, uh, so our father, creator, by me, sent them out, and then he said, after you go and do that, you come back and you meet me. And um, anyway, Dikavilla, 
um, had a little baby, think of Bill, and she kept looking back, um, looking for the babies. And then anyway, she fell asleep and ran out of time, didn't make it back in time. Kangaroo, Bunda, he was jumping around, he was happy, he just forgot where he was and um, you know, he ran out of time as well. So he didn't make it back in time either. And then Guga, a nice sunny day, he had a big feed there and he started laying up in the sun and he fell asleep. So he didn't make it back in time either. So the only one who made it back in time was Dinawa Nimi. So Bami took um, Dinawa up in the sky to be out in the sky with him and that's how the Emi got in the sky. So this song um, relates to that. Hey! Oh. brothers out here now but um yeah thanks for the opportunity and um we'll get out of the way and you can carry on with your formalities ready Thank you, uh, Johnny and the Dinner One Connection. That was just wonderful. So, uh, thank you. Um, good morning, everybody, um, and welcome to the launch of the County Curry Court. Um, I've, my name's Terry Stewart, and I'm um, a proud Tunnerong woman, and I coordinate the County Curry Court. I've been privileged and very proud to be a part of six County Curry Court launches across the state. And um, it makes me emotional every time uh, we do a, have a launch. So um, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land that we meet on and pay my respects to the, the Dutaroa people um, and their elders past, present and emerging. I extend that respect to all other elders and Aboriginal people here today and to those who have joined us online. Um, I'd like to also especially acknowledge Aunty Velda Murray, Ruth Davies and Sam Kirby who have all just recently been appointed as elders and respected persons to sit in the Wodonga County Curry Court. We welcome you to our County Curry Court team. I'd also like to thank uh, Johnny Murray for his warm uh, welcome to country and traditional cleansing ceremony and of course the deadly 
uh, Dinner Ones um, Connections Dance Group. Um, I'd now like to uh, invite Deputy Chief Judge Meryl Sexton up to the stand to say a few words. Thank you. Well, good morning, and thank you for joining us today to celebrate the launch of the County Koori Court here in Wodonga. Chief Judge Kidd is unable to join us here today, but he sends his warm congratulations on this auspicious occasion. I too would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we gather today, the Dudurua people. I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. And thank you to Johnny Murray and the Dinwans Connections for that wonderful dancing and that truly um, uh, moving, wonderful welcome to country. I'd also like to especially acknowledge the Wodonga County Koori Court elders and respected persons, Auntie Velda Murray, Ruth Davies and Sam Kirby. I also acknowledge the elders and respected persons here today and those who may be watching online. It is a great honour to be here today in partnership with the Wodonga Koori community and I also acknowledge the members of the community here in person and those who may be watching online. I also welcome those judges, magistrates, the CEO of the County Court, senior government officials and distinguished members of the legal community joining us. Welcome to everybody and thank you for coming today or joining us online. As you know, today we celebrate the launch of the County Koori Court in Wodonga. The County Koori Court in Victoria was the first sentencing court for Aboriginal offenders in a higher jurisdiction in Australia, and until recently, the only one in a higher jurisdiction. The County Koori Court commenced sitting in the La Trobe Valley in 2009. Five years later, in 2014, we expanded to Melbourne, to Mildura in 2016, Shepparton in 2018, Warrnambool in 2019, and most recently Geelong in 2021. We will commence sitting here in Wodonga in March 2023. I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the tremendous work of Judge Scott Johns, the judge in charge of the County Curry Court from when he took up the role in February this year. And thank you also to the wonderful Curry Court team who are all here today, Terry Stewart, Shirley Annesley, Kylie Spencer and Annie Kirkman for the excellent and tireless support they provide to the County Curry Court in all of those locations I mentioned culminating in today's launch and the uh, further step forward that we take today. Today's launch of the Wodonga County Koori Court is a significant day in the life of the County Court. It's also a significant step in helping to improve the justice outcomes of the Koori community in our state, but more specifically in the Wodonga region. The Koori Division of the County Court and the County Court as a whole acknowledges the importance of incorporating Aboriginal communities' cultural beliefs and practices into our justice system. Crucially, we recognise that doing so results in better engagement with the justice system for Aboriginal Victorians and helps offenders address the cause of their offending and thus helps prevent reoffending, which helps protect the entire community. In summary, as previous evaluations have found, the County Koori Court is making significant achievements in providing access to fair, culturally relevant and appropriate justice in our state. I thank and congratulate everyone involved in today's launch and it's my pleasure to now hand over to His Honour Judge Johns, the judge in charge of the County Koori Court, to say a few words. Thank you, Meryl. Thank you, Deputy Chief Judge Sexton, I should say. 
and uh, I'll commence by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land we meet on today, the Dutaroa people, and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, and I extend that respect to all other First Nations people present here today and to those attending online and viewing online. I want to also thank Johnny Murray, who's had to move on, um, for such a wonderful welcome, cleansing ceremony, and thank you to the Dinner Ones Connection Dance Group for their performance. Cultural events of significance and cultural performance. Sorry, I might just lift that a bit, given I'm a touch taller than Meryl. <laughs> Cultural events of significance and uh, cultural performance and celebration are very important to the County Koori Court. Respect for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture and ceremony is central to the operation of the County Koori Court and the sentencing conversation that lies at the heart of the process. At the commencement of every sentencing conversation in the County Koori Court, the person before the court is told that the court has been smoked or cleansed by a local elder and the significance of that, which Johnny uh, explained again today. Uh, the person before the court's also told that it's a court that respects Aboriginal culture. I'd also like to specially acknowledge uh, the Wodonga County Court Elders and respected persons, Aunty Velda Murray and Ruth Davies and Sam Kirby. On behalf of the County Koori Court, I thank you for your commitment to and enthusiasm for the Koori Court the County Koori Court can't operate without its elders and respected persons and the knowledge of Aboriginal culture, history, community and family connections you bring to the sentencing conversation. So thank you. And uh, I want to also acknowledge uh, uh, Chairperson of the Hume Rajak, Uncle Bobby Nichols, here today and also our County Court elders and respected persons present here today, Auntie Pam Peterson and Greg James and also to those attending online of our County Court Elders who are here. Uh, and all of you uh, who, are, who are here and um, Deputy Chief Judge Sexton has touched on uh, all of those that are our partners that we work together with um, and our judicial colleagues that are here as well and uh, our magistrate fellows travelled up from Melbourne this morning so uh, we appreciate that. I won't mention all of you by name, but your support for the County Koori Court and its expansion into the Wodonga region on Dutaroa country is much appreciated. Deputy Chief Judge Sexton referred to the partnership between the County Court and the Koori community through our elders and respected persons, and we now have over 30 uh, in the County Court. It's a partnership that is dearly valued by the County Court. Before I go further, I must thank Terry Stewart, our Koori Court coordinator for her hard work in the planning and implementation of the launch, all the lead up work, all of the engagement and trips to Wodonga. And I include in thanking Terry, the hard work of her team, Shirley and Kylie, who also traveled up here many times for engagement and Annie Kirkman, all of who've worked very hard in getting us to this point in Wodonga. Uh, since I've been judge in charge from February, I've learnt that I can get credit for a whole lot of things that I had nothing or very little to do with. <laughs> And that's all down to the hard work and commitment of Terry and the team, and I want to acknowledge that. As many of you all know, Koori Courts were first established in Victoria in 2002 as an initiative of the inaugural Victorian Aboriginal Justice Agreement, and Koori Courts were a key part of the response to the recommendations of the Royal Commission into Aboriginal deaths in custody regarding access to justice and the removal of many of the barriers and systemic disadvantage of the past. One of the stated purposes of the County Koori Court is to ensure greater participation of the Aboriginal community in the sentencing process. And that is something that we are always mindful of as a court and actively pursue. Importantly, the Koori Court is a community-led development in partnership with the court and inclusion of and consultation with the Victorian Aboriginal community is central to the operation of the court and its continued development. The Koori Court process differs from a plea hearing in the general crime list. The person before the court pleads guilty and consents to the matter being heard in the Koori Court as a sentencing conversation. The process provides a unique opportunity for participants to show that they are accountable for the offending, 
to show remorse, to talk about the factors in their life that have contributed to the offending, and to explore options directed at rehabilitation. The process can be very challenging for the participant, and it is acknowledged that participation is more burdensome than appearing at a generalist plea hearing. It is a very powerful and effective process. It gives a voice to the person before the court and to the community through the participation of elders and respected persons who share their wisdom and rich lived experience in the process. Victims of crime are able to attend and participate in the process, as well as friends, family, rehabilitative caseworkers and other support persons. For the presiding judge at a Curie Court hearing, they are far better informed through the sentencing process than they would otherwise be without the sentencing conversation and what emerges from it. They are far better informed as to the person they are dealing with, their family and community. I'm grateful to have had the privilege of witnessing many sentencing conversations over the past four years, and I'm always impressed by the engagement of the person before the court with the elders. And this is a great credit to the elders and respected persons sitting, but also to the process itself. It has real restorative power, not only for the person to be sentenced, but often for victims who participate and their families. I'm far from alone amongst judges who have observed that there is a lot to learn from the sentencing conversation that could be implemented in other areas of the criminal courts. The sentencing conversation works. For that fact, the entire Victorian community is better off. The County Curry Court is enshrined in legislation in this state. The court has expanded, as we've heard in recent years, more recently to Warrnambool, Geelong, and now to the Wodonga region. The court represents far more than a modified, more inclusive, culturally safe and appropriate court process. Participation in the Curry Court for eligible participants involves the exercise of an important cultural right, a recognised and fundamental right of First Nations peoples. Judges who sit in the County Curry Court are committed to facilitating this important cultural right in partnership with our elders and respected persons and the Curry community. And we look forward to the opportunity of playing our role uh, in that process uh, here in Wodonga. Uh, thank you. And I think at this point, Terry, we're going to announce the winners of the art competition. Yes, that's right, Judge. Just come over here. Thank you. Um, um, oh, that's yours? Sorry. I'll be ready. No, no, it's all right, Judge. I'm, I'm sure you can <laughs> all hear me. Um, as part of launching uh, County Curry Courts, uh, we run art competition, uh, art competition where local Curry community members can enter their artwork. Uh, for a chance to win um, some Coles Meyer vouchers. The winning artwork will then be displayed in the Wodonga County Curry Court on a permanent basis. So the court received two entries, um, which were judged by both Ruth Davies and Sam Kirby, our County Curry Court uh, el elders and respected persons. And um, uh, we couldn't get Annie Velda to uh, judge on, the, on this occasion because um, her son did put in an, an entry, um, so uh, we had to leave Annie Velder out of the uh, judging of this one. But I'd like to uh, formally announce that the second prize of $500 in gift vouchers was won by Samantha Williams for her, her artwork entitled Two Cities, One Mob. So this is uh, the artwork to uh, your left, my right. Um, in Samantha's words, this painting represents the area in which we live. The river separates Albury-Wodonga, but we all come together as one community. The circles represent different clan groups that have settled here. The small circles are individuals. The U-shapes on the outer represent the people who helped shape those individuals, and the handprints represent the many hands that help shape the community. The tracks, <coughs> Um, the tracks represent us living and working across both cities and the journey we walk. The hills are a tribute to my home, where I come from, the Sand Hills. So, that uh, unfortunately, both, um, uh, well, Samantha can't be with us um, 
today. Um, and Johnny was with us, but he's had to go. So, um, <laughs> uh, and obviously the first prize, which is the black and white artwork um, entitled Shields um, of Protection, was won by Johnny Murray of $1,000 in uh, Coles Meyer gift vouchers. Um, it's entitled Shields of Protection with Our Old People. Um, in Johnny's words, Shields of Protection represent the Wodonga County Crew Court looking after mob and protecting our community on Dutaroa country. These shields are about directing mob, mob back onto the right path. The grey shapes represent our old people always watching over us, see their eyes. Please join me in congratulating both uh, Johnny and Samantha for the lovely work. We're very proud to be able to, um, to hang these artworks in our, um, in our county crew courtroom. So thank you. Um, that now concludes the formal part of the launch. But before we finish, I'd like to thank a few people myself. So of course, I'd like to thank you all for um, joining us um, today. And um, I know that I've will work and have worked with many of you over the years I've been with Crew Courts. And I look forward to that continuing um, relationship. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my team, Shirley Annesley, Kylie Spencer and Anne-Marie Kirkman for all their hard work in preparing for this launch. And, and of course, I can't go by without a special mention to Joy Kelly, who has helped us tremendously along the way um, to um, uh, it is her country, um, this is her area, and she's provided us with so much uh, cultural support and guidance, and we really appreciate it. Um, uh, thank you. So, And of course, um, I'd also like to acknowledge and, and, and thank Ani Pan and Greg um, from our Shepherd and Crew Court, and obviously Uncle Bobby from the Hume Rajak um, for coming and supporting us today. So thank you very much. Um, Please join us now for some refreshments over in the back. Um, and uh, again, thank you. So, thank you.